run they made at the beginning of this well, was it like I don't know if it was beginning of the second half, but kind of middle-ish yeah. second half, I think. You know, that's what gave them separation that they needed. You know, other than that, it was a pretty even game. We made our run back, and you know, we had the ball down four, you know, and uh, there was just there's just little little plays here and there that make a big difference in the game. You know, we miss life, they come down hit a three, and the lead continues to extend. And I think, you know, that little run they made at the, at the beginning of the second half is what, was what separated it. And, you know, it's hard to come back you get from 17 down. I mean, that's a good team, man. They're a good team, really good players, good coach. And so, you know, uh, it's hard to come back down, come back when you get down 17. So, you know, fortunately, I wish we wish we didn't, but, you know, it, it happened and got to gotta bounce back and move on from it. Yeah. Kind of the story of the year, right? getting, in, getting yeah. in big holes and either in the record or in the yeah. scoring column. You guys came back a lot this year. No? Yeah, you know, and I there, think, right? yeah, I've said this a couple times today. So far. That's what makes college basketball fun. That's what makes this fun. That's what they it's like. It's not fun if you just win every game and you know everything's all you know sunshine and roses. It's not. It's not what this is. It's not, the guys we play against are too good. That's not how that's going to be. So you know, um, you have to appreciate the adversity and you know when it when it hits and it hit multiple times this year. And you got You got to you know roll with the punches. You know, it's not just in life, man. It's not everything's going to be perfect all the time. This isn't a game of perfect. And a lot of this is the same thing. You know, so you got to be able to keep your head up and, and push through and battle through those emotions and all that kind of stuff. You know. It was, it was a hard year for a lot of us. It was a hard year for me. Yeah. And you know, um, it, it, it is what it is. You just got to kind of keep bouncing back and just keep going, showing up every day ready to work. Um, just a part of emotion when, when Connor came out. Hard. Um, you know, he's my best friend. Uh, been together all the time ever since we were born. Um, you know, uh, so knowing that he's not going to be around every day next year is, is going to be really hard for me to, you know, swallow. Uh, like I said, that's my best friend. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be sad for me. Uh, and, you know, I knew it was going to come to an end at some point, and so you got to come to grips with that. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a little too early, and but you know, we're still gonna, we're still my brother, we're still gonna talk all day, all day, every day. It's just, just the way it is, and you know, it's, it's sad that this chapter of our life is over. We still have so much more left. But being able to share that with your dad and your brother, what yeah. you guys have, is pretty special. Yeah, no, it was. You know, it's uh, we've accomplished a lot. We've been here. You know, won a lot of games, won the Big Ten tournament, made it to the NCAA tournament every year since I've been here. Uh, you know, so. Uh, I think Connor every year he was playing. They, they made it here, and, and well, minus the COVID year, but that doesn't count. And, and you know, um, uh, it, it, it's special. We've had a really good run. We've had some good teams, played with some really good players, and made some really incredible moments. And you know, we'll always be able to cherish those, regardless. When do you start looking ahead? Uh, I, I need a couple weeks, man. I, I gotta take a step back. This like I, I came back. But there's still a lot I need to unpack, and there's still a lot I need to work through and try to kind of grow and, and and grow so that you know I don't that, that this doesn't all blow up in my face again like it did. Uh, so you know I, st I, I there's a lot that I need to do to you know unpack and you know reevaluate certain things and uh, you know I'll take a couple weeks and then you know it's back to the weight room, back to the court, and you know then we go from there.